Welcome once again to part two of midpoint of line segment. We are going to do with this aspect now internal and external division, which we treated in part one. Part two, our focus is going to be condition for perpendicularity and parallelism. Two different things. When you're talking about perpendicular, just y axis then or anything that can produce 90 degree it just is a perpendicular you can hear people say perpendicular line now let me differentiate between parallelism and the perpendicularity and this part two perpendicularity i want to abbreviate using symbol for perpendicular line implies that m1 m2 equals minus one that is we're going to have two gradients in perpendicularity whereby the first gradient multiplied by second gradient will give us what minus one so if their product cannot produce minus one it means such question or given sample is not perpendicular. Why parallelism is talking about that gradient one is the center as what gradient two. This is parallelism. Let me write it. Parallelism. Why this is what perpendicularity. Furthermore, you can decide to say M1 equals what? Minus 1 all over M2. Or you can say M2 equals minus 1 all over M1. Now let us look at some sample on this topic. That is, they said a straight line passes through the points minus 1, comma 3, then another line which passes through Q minus 4, comma 4, intersect the first line at the point R equals what? K, comma 5, where K is a constant. If the if angle P R Q equals what? 90 degree, find the value of K. This that kind of question, when some of you see, your brain will be like, Maybe you've not seen that kind of thing before, you've not heard it before. It's one of the rule or challenges in perpendicularity. All you need to do, get your points out. This is P minus 1, comma 3, okay? The coordinate. This is a separate. If you watch very well, you can see a full stop there. Then another line which passes through Q. You can see it minus four comma four. Intersect the first one, meaning intersect is P at the point R, okay? K comma five, where K is constant. If angle P R Q, where do you think this angle is going to be? It's going to be on R. So I will draw, let me say, I have this, I will form 90 degree here, this way, okay? I will call here R without delay. So the first line, P, R, Q, or you can say P, R, Q. So, anyhow you want to do it, you can flow. Let's say here is Q, and let's say here is what? P. If the point is given for R, we have K, comma, 5. And this will have minus 4, comma, 4. We have 
minus 1 comma 3. Considering midpoint, recall that midpoint S equals what? S1 plus S2 all over 2. And Y equals to Y1 plus Y2 all over 2. But now, when you also remember equation of a line dealing with our gradient, we know that M is also equal to what? Y2 minus Y1 all over who? S2 minus S1. Don't forget. But we are dealing with who? Perpendicularity. Where you must consider M1, M2 equals to minus 1. Okay. Now, we have that if we want to consider this side, this against this, meaning we are dealing with two coordinates here. Yeah? If we want to consider this side also, so let us get gradient from here. If I'm using this S1, Y1, can call this S2, Y2. Here, I can decide to call it S1, S2, S, Y1, S2, Y2. It's my choice. Now let us see what will happen here. If you have that y2 is okay since this is a base let's just call this s1 and y1 then other ones let them answer two okay now remember gradient equals y2 3 minus 5 for this way all over who s1 minus 1 minus K. This is what we have. Call it equation one. Another one here. We'll have that. Let's say M1, M2 equals 4 minus 5 all over minus 4 minus K. Equation 2. Let's interpret equation 1. Equation 1 will give us minus 2 all over minus 1 minus k. Comma. Y equation 2 will give us 4 minus 5 is minus 1 all over minus 4 minus k. So remember in GP, when you have two common ratio, you equate them together. Now we are getting or we are having two different gradients we are going to equate together because the question says what is the value of k they didn't say we should form an equation get it right now to get the value of k we'll come back here to say minus 2 all over minus 1 minus k equals minus 1 all over minus 4 minus k we'll Cross multiply, minus 2 into minus 4 minus k equals minus 1 into minus 1 minus k. Okay, so minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8, then plus 2k equals minus 1 times minus 1, 1, minus 1 times minus k is plus k. So that Subtract it from both sides. We now have 8 plus 2k minus 8 equals 1 plus k minus 8. This will take care of this. So we have 2k equals 1 minus 8 minus 7 plus k. Also, subtract k from 
both sides 2k minus k equals minus 7 plus k minus k. This will take care of this. So k here now equals to minus 7. So what is the question all about? Find the value of k. Therefore, the value of k is what? Minus 7. Now let us take more questions using exam guide Wayek and jump questions. Find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to what? 2s plus 5, 2y plus 5s minus 6 equals 0. And bisect the line joining the points 4 comma 3 and minus 6 comma 0. Okay, here you are going to see the equation we'll be talking about. Here they are consigned for this particular you were just to get the value of k. To get the value of k. So I want to delete. So we can solve the next question. We have 2y plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. From the through the point four comma three and the q six comma zero. The question is find the equation that is perpendicular to that. Okay. Now this an equation given to us. From here, recall that y equals what? mx plus c. Take note of this. Also, perpendicularity m1, m2 equals what? Minus 1. Please learn how to solve question, even though you may not get the whole solution. For somebody seeing this, it means you already know what you are doing. So there's a mark waiting for you here. So now let us go back to this question given to us. We have 2y plus 5s minus 6 equals 0. And here we also have y. It means we have to make this to behave this way. How do we do that? We can say that 2y equals minus 5x plus 6. It's now looking like this though not perfectly but you can see the constant again constant you can see this against this the only difference here is just we've not made this subject of the formula so at this point in time we're going to say 2y divided by 2 that's we want to make it subject of the formula minus 5s all over 2 plus 2 6 all over 2 so that y equals minus 5 all over 2 S plus who? 3. Good. It's now perfectly looking like this. Forget about the fraction. So what do you do? If this is Y and this is also Y, it then means, remember your power of equating a given question. So if Y is this and Y is also this, it means that MX plus C equals what? Minus 5X all over 2 plus 2, 3. But recall, our business is not what? The intercept. Our business is gradient. So, mx by comparison, ms equals minus 5x, 5 over 2. So, we are taking this by comparison. So that x can take care of s here. Then gradient or divide the s equals what? Minus 5 all over 2. I know most of you don't know that gradient is divide the s. So divide the s is what? Minus 5 all over 2. So we'll have our gradient now. You have the power now to invite m1, m2 equals to minus 1. So you have m1 
m2 equals to minus 5 all over 2. Let's go back to the question. They say, find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to. Listen very well. Perpendicular to. They didn't say this. They directed the question to this. That's why I'm involving this. So, equals minus 1. Here, I told you, you can choose any of them here. Meaning minus 5 all over 2 into either m2 equals to minus 1. I want to make this subject of the formula. If I want to do that, I will multiply both sides by what? The multiplicative inverse of minus 5 over 2, meaning minus 5 all over 2 times who? Minus 2 all over 5 times m2 equals who? Minus 1 times minus 2 all over 5. This is what I'm doing. Okay. This can take care of this. Why is taking care of this? So m2. The real gradient now is what? 2 all over 5. Formally, what do you have? Minus 5 over 2. This is the reason why some of you, when you solve and get to this place, pay and jump to the answer. At the end, you have a wrong solution. Because, of course, you are not patient enough to think about what they said you should do. So, whenever you are dealing with perpendicularity, don't rush too much. Once you get there, if you don't have the capacity to inverse this by applying the what multiplicative inverse rule, you can bear it in mind that this denominator is, will switch to what numerator, numerator switching over to what denominator. This is when time is already against you. So now we we'll have two over five as the slope, the gradient, or the y the s. This is the main the y the s and not this. Now we have this. We are going back to this. Coming to this point now, I want to settle this case here. Remember, y2 minus y1 all over what? S2 minus S1 equals also slope. Are you aware? Slope or m. Gradient dy ds. So I can say dy ds. dy ds here now equals uh, y2. I have 0, minus y1, I have 3, all over s2, I have minus 6, minus s1, I have 4. So the solution here is what? Minus 3, all over minus 10. Good. This will give us what now? 3 all over 10. This is a coordinate. This is also a coordinate. What is the question? Find the equation. Now, if this is a coordinate, this is a coordinate, I will come back again to say that recall that y minus y1 all over x minus s1 equals to equation of a straight line. Going back to what you have, find the equation of the okay perpendicular to this. Then my gradient equals what now? My gradient is two over five equals my equation y minus y one all over x minus s one. Let me clean here so that I can finish my assignment here. Where is our one here? We have 4 and 3. So 2 over 5 equals y minus 4, uh, 3, all over x minus 4. We can cross multiply 2 into x minus 4 equals 5 into y minus 3. So 2x minus 8 equals 5y minus 15. I can also say that 5y minus 2x minus 15 plus 8 equals 0. 
I can also say that 5y minus 2s minus 7 equals 0. This can be concluded by saying 5y minus 2s equals what? 7. So the equation of this long grammar here now is what? 5y minus 2s equals what? 7. Let's get another question. And this, okay, find the equation of the straight line that passes through the point, okay, still perpendicular. In case you didn't get the first one, try to pay more attention so that you're very, very clear before we go over to jump question. Perpendicular to 3s minus 2y plus 4. equals zero, why the point is two comma minus three. Okay, this one is a separate thing, perpendicular to this. Let's consider this. We have the three s plus four equals two y. So that multiplying through by the multiplicative inverse of two y, we are going to have three s multiplied by one over two plus 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 equals 2y times 1 over 2. So that this can destroy this. So y would remember what? 3s all over 2 plus 2. Good. So recall that y equals to ms plus c. By comparison, we have that 3s all over 2 equals ms. So that m equals 3 all over 2. Recall that m1, m2 equals minus 1. So that 3 all over 2, m2 equals minus 1. Going with multiplicative inverse, I have this equals minus 1 times 2 all over this m2 equals minus 2 all over 3. So this is the gradient. Now, finalizing the whole thing so that we can form the equation. Recall that gradient m equals y minus y1 all over s minus s1 minus 2 over 3 equals y minus minus 3 all over s minus 2. Minus 2 all over 3 equals y plus 3 all over s minus 2. When we cross multiply, we have minus 2 into s minus 2 equals 3 into y plus 3. This will give us minus 2s plus 4 equals 3y plus 9. Bringing them together, 3y plus 2s plus 9 minus 4 equals 0. That is, when you subtract 4 from both sides, you are going to have this. The one on the left hand side will die. Then it will come to this way to reduce. 3y plus 2x plus 5 equals what? 0. This is our solution. Or you can say 3y plus 2s equals to minus 5. So just learn how to present your solution. I don't know the one you prefer. Now let's go over to the one for jump. You still have many of these type of questions. You can see another one here. The coordinate of this varies. Okay. Let's consider jump 2. Okay, look at it. 3y equals 4s minus 1. And ky equals s plus 3. Are uh, what? Equations of two straight lines. If the two lines are perpendicular to each other, find the value of k. 
uh, for now, let's try to see what they mean. We have that. 3y equals 4s. For x minus one and ky equals s plus three. We are told that both of them are what perpendicular. Good. We are to find the value of k. If this if they are perpendicular, first of all, having three y being equal to four s minus one. I also say, going through multiplicative inverse, so that we can clear y, y will be alone. So we have for x all over three, minus one all over three. I can call it equation one. Let's see what this thing mean. Coming to this, we have ky equals x plus 3, OK? Going by multiplicative inverse, we have ky times 2, 1 over k, equals s times 2, 1 over k, plus 3 times 1 over k. To have clarified this, y equals what? x all over k, plus 3 all over k. Am I communicating? Yeah. Call it what? Equation 2. Now we have equation two. Recall this is y. Also recall this is y. Both of them can equate each other by saying for s all over three minus one all over three equals who? X all over k plus three all over k. Do we solve for two unknown? No, is the answer. So what will happen now? It's either you say 4x all over 3. OK, looking at this, here represent intercept. Here also represent intercept. It's not gradient. So we are going for gradient. So I will f decide to pick this because we are dealing with gradient. Remember, you don't solve for two unknown in mathematics. That's how we can combine this whole of thing together. So we decided to go by the gradient or the YDS method. Here we have for S times two K equals three S. So that 4kx equals 3x. What happened? I would cancel this. So 4k equals 3. Going by the multiplicative inverse, 1 over 4 equals 3 times 2. 1 over 4. Cancel, cancel here. k equals 3 all over 4. Therefore, the value of k is what? 3 over you can see the pattern jump is using. Jump is always jump anyway. For the mass on their own parts, they will always act like further mass. Find the value of P if the line joining P comma 4 and 6 comma minus 2 is perpendicular to the line joining, you see, twisting. Let us see. Because I know most of us, uh, our mind is always goes directly to, we were told, or I was told that M1, M2 equals what? Minus 1. Good. That's the information or the instruction. But whenever there are two different equations, your mind should go up from M1, M2 equals minus what? Minus 1. Consider what you have at hand. Here, considering P comma 4, and the who six comma minus two then I six there is the perpendicular to the line joining the other one two comma p and the who 
minus 1 comma 3 good if these guys are perpendicular to these guys so we got to think about the gradient of what we have the first gradient being this way y2 minus y1 all over s2 minus s1 equals to m remember the y ds is what y2 minus y1 all over s2 minus s1 from the first statement the y ds here is going to give us minus 2 minus 4 all over who 6 minus p good call it equation 1 standardize this equation 1 this will give us minus 6 all over 6 minus p there is no cause for alarm because I know your mind will start to ring now. I think we are looking for value of P. Then I am forming an equation that is still giving me P. Don't worry yourself. There is no qualms in what you are having. Just concentrate and go ahead with the main thing you need to do. Here we have the next one, 3 minus P. Okay, minus 1, minus 2. Good. Call it equation what? 2 standardize what you have this is minus 3 now recall this gentleman is the yds and this guy is also who the yds if this i am the yds i'm also the yds meaning the yds we do what equate itself the yds goes this way i will do this way minus 3 times minus 6 equals to 6 minus p into who? 3 minus p. So 18 equals what? 18 minus 6p minus 3p plus p squared. So that p squared minus 3 minus 6 minus this, that's minus 9p plus 18 minus 18 equals 0. P squared minus 9P equals to 0. You can see it. Wonder shall never end. Remember, we are dealing with what? Perpendicularity, but now we have migrated into what? Quadratic equation. And um, looking at it, you can see that the quadratic equation is not even perfectly correct. What else are we looking at? We we'll start to think about what do we do? If we have these two things together, uh, is simply you can say that p square equals to 9p. Help your life here by multiplying by multiplicative inverse of nine, uh, this. This is p equals 9p times 1 over p. That's for p at the right hand side. So this gentleman can reduce. By giving us what? P equals what now? 9. Any stress? No stress. So, find the value of P. The value of P is what? 9. The value of P is 9. This is minus 1, 6, minus 2. Okay. The locus of a point, all these things, they are all grammar. The locus of point equidistant from two points, this comma, this, and this comma, this, bisect this passing through. Forget the grammar, it's just the center you are dealing with. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, let's call it a day. God bless you once again for being this class. Remember to subscribe to our channel while you look for more questions to help your life.